10 a.m. 10 a.m. <laughs> Hello everyone, good morning. Today I am following Selena Gomez's morning routine. I am going to be doing a lot of the things that I've seen and read articles about what Selena Gomez does in the morning. And of course, this must vary all the time because she always has a changing schedule. I'm sure, she's, she's not always doing the same thing every morning technically, but there's a few key things that Selena likes to do in the mornings that I figured out looking on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna be doing those things today. But one of the things that she loves to do, which you guys will see just throughout this whole video, but the first thing, she says she likes to wake up at around like 10 a.m. ish, no later than that. I woke up at 10 a.m. It's a Saturday that I'm filming this video, so you know, it's a good, nice Saturday. <laughs> to sleep in a little bit and not be up as early. And then she likes to have a lot of me time in the morning, but I'm going to a workout class at 1045. So I need to like get a little bit ready for that and then head to the workout class. And Selena likes to do like Pilates. That's like one of her favorite workouts to do. So I'm gonna be doing like a workout Pilates slash, it's called Life Bar. It's like a mixture of like Pilates moves with like other repetitive, toning moves. <laughs> it's a similar class to something that Selena would be doing. So I'm gonna have to get ready, get in my gym clothes, go to the fitness center, and get there. So I better go change into my workout clothes. <laughs> so I got all changed with my water bottle, because of course I'm like awkwardly like sitting. <laughs> but of course I have to bring my water bottle. This is, not, this is a weird angle, I'm sorry. Lots of hydration in the morning. Oof. <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't find out if Selena like eats before she works out because I, I it didn't say that in the articles that I read online. The order, the specific order of what she does. <laughs> I would think she maybe doesn't, maybe has a snack or something. Um, I make sure to drink a lot of water though for hydration. <laughs> but I think I'm going to eat afterwards because it's never fun to like work out right after you ate. But I'm hydrated, got my workout clothes on, and I'm gonna drive over there. So, meet you guys there. I just finished washing my face, now I have to do toner, because Selena Gomez does toner. I'm using the Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner. And then I'm also taking a body shower after my workout, because obviously like, I don't want to sweat after my workout and then like, not shower. Ooh. So I'm going to take a body shower afterwards, but this is what Selena does, she does her little face skincare routine and then I have to add a little bit of moisturizer. Moisturize. <laughs> now it's time to change to my outfit. I'm gonna wear this cute top with some jeans and get this show on the road. So now it's time for breakfast. Selena always drinks one of these ginger turmeric shots. She loves these. She says that it kills all the bad stuff. And I might have to agree. So this one has ginger, turmeric, alkaline water, lemon, um, honey, black pepper, and cayenne. This is really spicy and burns your mouth. But I've drink, I've had a few of these in my time, so I'm used to drinking them, kind of. But it's still hard. So let me try. Oh, still have half of it left. burns my tongue <laughs> yummy <laughs> so now 
She really likes to have yogurt in the morning, like a uh, yogurt parfait type of thing. And so I got some almond chia granola from Back to Nature. Blueberries for antioxidants to put in there for extra flavor. And then I got Kite Hill uns plain unsweetened almond milk yogurt. So this stuff is really good and I've had this before. So I'm just gonna make a yogurt parfait for breakfast. So here we go. Add some raspberries in here too. Here we have finished yogurt. Ooh. So she also likes to have coffee in the morning, I'm assuming with her breakfast. So I'm gonna make this, I'm trying to get away from coffee and instead go towards more teas. I'm using this Ticino chicory herbal coffee. It's like caffeine free, acid free, and I've never used this before. They also have, they also have like little um, coffees and tea bags, which I've used this before. This is in the hazelnut flavor and it does taste really similar to coffee. Um, it's a little bit more tea-ish, but it's very similar to it and I liked these a lot. But I haven't tried the grind before, and my brother has a Keurig here. I'm going to try making it in the Keurig and drink it with my food. Drink it with my food. Yeah. We'll see. Hopefully this works. Oh my gosh, it's working. It looks like real coffee. Is it okay? More than that is supposed to come out. Hmm. It looks like it's really struggling. So I heated up some water in the microwave to add because it didn't really come out with that much tea. But that's okay. I think it's going to be more concentrated, which is good. So I'm just adding some of the hot water in there. I'm adding in some Nut Pods Almond Creamer. This is actually the stuff that I think Emma Chamberlain uses, but I wanted to add a little bit of creamer because. It just makes it taste that much more coffee-ish. Whoa, that just sprayed everywhere. And I like this creamer because it doesn't have sugar in it. Whoa. <laughs> I haven't done my makeup yet. I'm gonna do my makeup after breakfast, but I'm gonna have breakfast now. My beautiful yogurt parfait and my Ticino coffee, coffee thing. Not too bad. I maybe added a little too much creamer in there, but it tastes good. It tastes good. It's not as strong as coffee, but it's very similar vibes, you know, and it, it gets a pass for me. It, gets, it, 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 it works. And while I eat, I'm gonna watch YouTube as me time. I have my laptop right here. Uh, I'll probably talk about it throughout this video a little bit. You really shouldn't put a camera. Okay, I finished eating breakfast. Now it's time to do my makeup and actually get ready. I don't know, I'm, I might just leave my hair like kind of natural today. It actually has a little bit of a natural like wave to it, which is kind of cool. <laughs> so I might just kind of keep my hair natural, just brush it out a little bit. I'm just gonna do kind of my typical morning, I mean, just my typical makeup routine. I just got these pillowcases in today, these fuzzy pillowcases, and so look how nice it looks. Like now my background looks <laughs> like so much better because I have these cute fuzzy pillows. <laughs> Let's set this down, shall we? My skin has actually gotten so much better since I've given up coffee. I still love coffee, <laughs> and I'm so happy I discovered Ticino because Ticino, it's an all natural herbal tea, but it tastes very similar to coffee. It has that, it has that very rich, robust flavor that coffee has. Finding something similar to that robust flavor has helped so much because I don't know, I think I've gone back and forth. I've given up coffee a few different times in my life. 
I haven't been drinking coffee that long though. <laughs> I probably started drinking coffee five years ago, maybe when I was like 19, 18. Since, I guess since maybe more like 18, I've been drinking coffee a little bit more often, like a little bit more regular. And I've just noticed that when I give up coffee, my skin looks a lot less red, a lot less inflamed, and I have less breakouts, which is really sad <laughs> because I enjoy coffee so much and it's something I like just like drinking. I like the taste of it. I like the little like perky jolt that I get from coffee. Um, I like the smell of coffee. I enjoy the experience of coffee. I, I like going to coffee shops and I still I still like going to coffee shops, but I just I like it. It just sucks that it makes my skin break out because I don't know what else it could be. Like I've noticed coffee is more spe more specific. I mean, chocolate. Chocolate more specifically, sugar in general makes my skin break out, um, which, you know, is understandable because I understand that like sugar and white sugar and sweets and things like that like aren't probably good for your skin <laughs> they're probably not helping anything so i noticed that and then coffee those two things i think particularly aggravate my skin which really sucks because those are two really yummy things to eat <laughs> i love chocolate i like sweets and i like coffee a lot it just sucks because i'm really trying to fix my skin like permanently i really want to you know really fix my skin and not have not keep having these skin issues forever because i just keep getting breakouts and i keep having like redness all over my face and sometimes my face literally looks like a tomato and it doesn't match my like neck at all like it'll be like red and then like my neck <laughs> and it's like i don't want to have to keep you know dealing with that while i'm doing this this is a chatty this is a chatty makeup segment right here but I just wanted to share that because, you know, we're doing my makeup and I was talking about my skin. So I'm really trying to clear my skin once and for all. And like, I think my skin does look so much better. I'm going to do a whole video within the next few months <clears throat> talking about kind of my whole skin journey and like how I clear out my skin because I'm still working on it. It's only been about a week. So yeah, in general, I'm just not eating as much like sweet, which is good anyway, because I'm trying to work on my fitness journey. The battery is flashing on my camera, so that is concerning. So I guess I have to wrap up this video ASAP. Do I have like a lip? A lip color? I don't really wear lip colors very much. Well, that looks really, really very strong. That looks very, very strong. That looks like really sh like harsh, so sorry about that. I don't think I knew how much makeup or how much product I was putting on. So hopefully that just makes me look bronzed. Probably I'm just gonna leave my hair natural because I don't really feel like doing my hair today. And maybe Selena Gomez wears her hair natural sometimes, you know? I don't like to put heat on my hair all the time. So yeah, now I'm pretty much all set for the day. So I did all of the things. This is in kind of, you know, this is in summary kind of what Selena Gomez does in a day, not in a day, in the morning. <laughs> um, this is in a, in a nutshell, well I can talk. This, in a nutshell, is what Selena Gomez does in the mornings, her morning routine. And I liked how the, it was like kind of chill. Like she doesn't do anything like too crazy in the morning. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully you guys liked this video. And definitely comment below another celebrity that you want me to follow their morning routine. I was thinking maybe Ariana Grande, maybe Hailey Bieber, you know. Victoria's Secret model. I was thinking it'd be fun to try other celebrity morning routines So comment below who you would like to see me do next as far as their morning routine. It could even be a guy Maybe I should do Justin Bieber's or something. I don't know. So yeah comment below any of you guys thoughts there and Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope to <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in another video until next time Bye